Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me an Open Source Channel. Right, in this video, let's see how to use Cube Spray to reset your cluster. So in the last three videos, we've been seeing various ways to interact with the cluster. The first video, we saw how to provision a Kubernetes cluster using Cube Spray. And then in the following video, we saw how to upgrade your cluster. And in the third video, we saw how to add or remove a node from the cluster. And now we are going to see how to reset your cluster. So for those of you who haven't watched my previous three videos, please watch those videos because the commands that I'm going to show you uh, might not be relevant to you if you didn't watch all my previous videos, all the three previous videos. So I'm starting from where I left off from my previous video. Cube CDL get node. So we have four nodes and let's log into the ansible machine alexi exec ansible bash cd to cube spray the github repository that we checked out and now let's say we want to reset this cluster completely when i say reset what it's going to do is it's going to completely undo everything that it has done during the cluster provisioning like installing the master components etcd and uh, the worker nodes, cube scheduler, and all the kubelet, cube ADM, cube CTL, everything that it has done to your system, it will be uh, removed. It will be, it will, it's going to undo basically all the single, every single operation that it has done during the cluster provisioning. And it's going to give you back all the four machines in the same state that you gave it initially. All right. So the command is ansible playbook. But before that, make sure you, your inventory file is up to date vi inventory my cluster host.yaml i forgot to show you one thing in my previous video where when, when we removed the cluster what we used was this command ansible playbook and the playbook was remove node.yaml and we removed node 5 from the cluster what you also need to do after running that command is to edit your inventory file inventory my cluster host.yaml and delete that host from the inventory file. So that's uh, these four lines. So delete that and also delete that from here, node five. All right, so that's something that I forgot to show you in my previous video. All right, so now let's reset the cluster. Ansible playbook minus I, our inventory file is inventory my cluster hosts.yaml minus minus user is root and the playbook is reset.yaml so that's it i'm not sure how long it's going to take maybe 10 15 minutes and it will completely reset all the nodes all right so are you sure you want to reset the cluster state type enter and press sorry type yes and press enter all right i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done Cool, so it has completed. I thought it would take 10, 15 minutes, but it took less than a minute actually. So if you want, you can go ahead and look at all the uh, tasks that it has done. So it has basically removed all the directories and all the components and so on. Yep, it's that simple. So now you can play with it. Your machines are back to how it was. And now you, if you want to provision a new cluster, you can use the same machines and you can use the cluster.yaml playbook to provision your cluster. All right, let's see if we can access our Kubernetes, which is not actually running. All right, cool. So thank you for watching this video. Please share and subscribe. If you've got any questions or any issues following these video series, please let me know in the comment. I've also got a Telegram channel, uh, which you can subscribe or you can join. Then you can we can have a discussion there as well if you like. I would prefer um, responding to your comments in the YouTube so that other users can also uh, get benefited from that. Right, I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.